California Attorney General Rob Bonta is putting pressure on the city of Encinitas as the state deals with the housing crisis. The coastal city caught the attention of Bonta after it rejected a large housing development in the city. CBS 8's Regina Ahn talked with the mayor of Encinitas and Attorney General Bonta about the controversy. Here in Encinitas, the median home price is $1.7 million. That's double the median price in California. Last November, the city denied a permit for a large housing development here on Encinitas Boulevard, which included units for low-income families. California Attorney General Rob Bonta highlighted the city's failed efforts on Thursday and says if something doesn't happen soon, he will hold the city accountable. We are in the middle of a... Uh, housing affordability crisis. Attorney General Rob Bonta says he is prepared to take action after the city denied a permit for the Encinitas Boulevard apartments in the community of Olivenhain, a generally wealthy neighborhood in the city. The proposed project called for a 277 unit housing development, which would include 41 units set aside for lower income families. We believe that the city of Encinitas uh, for three on three separate grounds violated the law of the state of California when they um, rejected uh, the Encinitas Boulevard Apartments project and we sent them a letter uh, to share with them our thinking, let them know our position and uh, also to invite them to take corrective action. Bonta says when the city denied a permit for the apartments, it violated the density bonus law, the Housing Accountability Act and its state law obligation to affirmatively further fair housing. I believe the mayor, Mayor Blake Spear, is in support of that revised project as I understand it and Hopefully she'll have uh, enough votes in the city council to, to approve it. Mayor Catherine Blakespear, who has been mayor for five years, says it's time to take action and make change happen. We have put together a plan that has 15 sites on it and the state has approved it. And one of the sites is actually under construction already. Blake Spear says since taking office, she's had to fix many problems. I expect us to stay compliant with state housing laws. So, you know, we don't want to get back into the situation we were in before. There is a, a an imminent opportunity for the city of Encinitas to course correct, get back on track, to comply with the law as they consider the revised housing project. So I, I hope they will take that opportunity to uh, comply with the law. Mayor Blakespear insists she is pushing for affordable housing, especially for seniors and those wanting to live comfortably here in Encinitas.